Just a short testimony about working with angels that I want to share with you. You know, this past weekend, I had the opportunity and the great honor to spend uh, some pretty good time with the Apostle Tony Kemp, an amazing man of God. Uh, and <laughs> one thing about being with an amazing man of God is uh, sometimes they provoke you to jealousy. So as I sat there and uh, talked to him about different things, he shared with me account after account after account. And I was thinking, I am kind of jealous. Actually, I'm very jealous. Uh, and in my mind, I'm also praying, Lord, I want that. Lord, I want this. Lord, I want that. I want the deeper things of God. I want to go deeper. I don't know about you. I'm praying that you do also. But so I spent an incredible uh, time with uh, Apostle Tony Kemp. Uh, I was so blessed uh, to, to have that much of his time. And um, we were actually uh, at a meeting at River of Destiny uh, sponsored by River of Destiny Church in Illinois for a Kevin Zedai conference and uh, so he was there Kevin is a good friend of his and uh, I had the privilege of sitting next to Apostle Tony Kemp uh, during the meetings and Saturday night as we're sitting uh, in the front row and I'm just kind of surveying praying waiting praying to see what's going on and all of a sudden I see four angels lined up uh, to the left side of the stage not in the center where the speaker will be but actually four angels uh, three fairly large angels and one that was shorter uh, lined up in front of where Apostle Tony was sitting and I don't know why they're there but I was happy to see them there you know anytime you see an angel uh, <laughs> that's present it's a good sign right you know the Lord is with you and then towards the right of the stage I saw a portal begin to open up it was like someone was actually opening a portal and, and I saw it was like it was like there were angels that were stretching a fabric to open a portal in the atmosphere it was very interesting to see but I didn't know why it was going on at that point so the meeting began and uh, and uh, Dr. Kevin Zadai was was preaching and speaking and he shared many wonderful things but about halfway through or maybe I don't know 45 minutes into the meeting uh, he stopped he gave two words of knowledge for healing and then he called Apostle Tony to come up to take over the service and then it became apparent <laughs> what was going on because uh, he got up and took the microphone but when he began to minister healing he went over and he stood right in front of the portal that had been opened up now it was really amazing there were many healings many incredible healings uh, pe deaf people had hearing restored people that had eye problems at least at least 15 of them uh, had healing for their eyes there were people that had metal plates that had bothered them for years that they they couldn't feel the plates anymore they they tried and they could not locate them God was doing great miracles that night and it was really a blessing uh, to see that so um, I talked to Apostle Tony later and I told him what I had seen and he said yes that I had seen correctly and he told me who those angels were and he told me who the short the name of the shorter angel as well so it's really funny because sometimes uh, sometimes because people don't really share openly about everything they see but they're seeing it anyway I mean he he saw what was going on and he explained to me once he knew that I had seen it then he told me what was going on and it was a great blessing uh, to get that confirmation as well but here's what here's what I want to tell you though even if you don't see what's going on if you follow the voice of the Lord you the angels will work with you they will work around your life you will work with them as you 
Obey the voice of the Lord. Go here, pray for this person, do this. Kneel down, stand up, extend your hand, speak this blessing, say this particular word. As you obey his voice, uh, the angels of the Lord work with you. They're also heeding the voice of the Lord to do his will. And so as you're doing that, heaven is partnering with you and you can see the most extraordinary miracles come to pass. So keep that in mind. Obey the voice of God and watch him move. God bless you. Thank you.